Today in our drug interaction series, we're going to run down some examples of drug food interactions. A drug food interaction typically means that the medication is reacting in some way with food being ingested, beverages, or even vitamins or dietary supplements. Often, drug food interactions are unintentional, but it can be intentional too, like when we tell a patient to take their medicine with food. Let's discuss some unintentional drug food interactions first. One of the most common drug food interactions that we see is related to alcohol. Alcohol has an incredible number of effects on the body and on medications too. For example, alcohol can enhance the blood sugar lowering effects of anti-diabetic medications, or it can contribute to low blood pressure for patients on antihypertensives. Alcohol also increases the risk of bleeding and would have additive effects for a patient on a blood thinner like warfarin or Eliquis or even aspirin. Alcohol can also directly interact with some medications. A great example of this is the alcohol-metronidazole drug interactions. Metronidazole or Flagyl is an antibiotic used to treat a variety of infections from intra-abdominal to gynecologic infections. When alcohol is ingested, it is converted to acetaldehyde, a toxic byproduct which is then broken down by an enzyme called acetaldehyde dehydrogenase and eliminated from our body. Metronidazole inhibits acetaldehyde dehydrogenase from doing its job, resulting in rising toxic acetaldehyde levels. Now the reaction and severity of this is unpredictable, with case reports ranging from mild cardiovascular effects like tachycardia all the way to death. We call this a disulfiram-like reaction, and this is why any alcohol or propylene glycol containing product is contraindicated both during metronidazole therapy and for 72 hours after a patient takes that drug. Another common drug-food interaction is when medications bind directly to vitamins or food ingested and then cannot be absorbed. Dairy products which contain calcium or OTC calcium carbonate antacids, calcium vitamins, any of those impair absorption of a variety of medications. Bisphosphonates which are used in osteoporosis, levothyroxine for hypothyroidism, and even some antibiotics like levofloxacin, tetracyclines, doxycycline, all of these bind to calcium in the stomach and prevent that medication from being absorbed. These types of direct binding interactions can be prevented by separating the drugs from dairy, calcium, or vitamin intake by two to four hours. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown and our first drug food interactions review. Subscribe for our next update delivered directly to your inbox.